Peace TV, the solution for humanity. Do you know what Islam is? It's a way of life for all. It is taught in the Quran for big and small. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu wa na'unzu billahi min syururi anfusina wa sayyati a'malina min yahdihillahu falamudillala wa man yudlil falahadiyala ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh wa ba'du Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh May Allah peace, mercy and blessing be upon us all. Amin. Fellow Muslim brother and sister, today insha'Allah we are going to discuss about a very important topic about ourselves being a Muslim. And the topic is how to become a good Muslim. When we talk about Islam, everybody understands what is Islam. But a lot of people do not know what Islam wants from us. The word Islam rely from the root word of salima, mean peace. Meaning every Muslim must have peace within themselves so that they will bring peace to others. Islam also means total submission to Allah Almighty. Not only by name, but physically, mentally, and spiritually, we must submit to the Almighty Allah, the Creator. Now we know that Islam reminds us about who is Allah and what Allah promised for people who believe in Islam or believe in Allah. Islam also means salama, means peace, security in this world and the hereafter. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, when he was calling people to Islam, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the first generation, which the Prophet said, Khairun Nas Qarni. The Prophet confirmed by saying that the best people is the people who live in my time, the first generation. These people, may Allah bless their soul, they are so careful about what they learn from the Prophet. After becoming Muslim, they came and asked the Prophet, Ayil Muslimin Khairun, Ya Rasulullah. They said, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, may Allah peace be upon you. Who is a good Muslim? Or how can we be a good Muslim? Not just be a good Muslim, but they want to be a practicing Muslim. So the Prophet said, Al-Muslim man salim al-Muslimun min lisanihi wa yadih. A good Muslim is a Muslim who are very careful with his word, and his action, meaning wherever he go, he will make sure that he will bring peace to fellow Muslim and fellow mankind. He will not say anything that do not benefit himself and also others. And he will never do anything that bring harm to himself and bring harm to others. Now, to be a good Muslim, it is not difficult. What we have to do is what like the Prophet ﷺ has remind us. The Prophet ﷺ said, I remind all of you to be faithful to Allah, the Almighty, the Creator of all things, the sender of all prophets, and the revealer of all truth. Then after that, the Prophet said, Now the Prophet is trying to teach us how to be a good Muslim is that you must always be a good listener. First thing that you have to do is you must be a good listener. That means whatever Allah wants you to do, you listen carefully. And what the Prophet has said to you, you listen carefully. And then ta'a. The second step is you must act upon it. You must be obedient to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you to do. By doing that, then you become a good Muslim. When you become a good Muslim, you are sure to bring peace within yourself. You will have some kind of tranquility inside you. And wherever you go, we believe that 
you are going to bring peace to others. Fellow Muslim brothers and sisters in Islam, now we all know today, we are all been a Muslim, but a lot of Muslims do not understand the spirit of Islam. They thought that Islam is just because I'm a born Muslim, my father, my mother is a Muslim, as I pray five times a day, or I fast in the month of Ramadan, or I do some other basic ritual, I'm a good Muslim. That is only for yourself. But when the Prophet talk about Islam, he do not talk about Islam that is only for you. Islam always good for you and good for others. And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam remind us many times yeah, about how to become a good Muslim. So you must be careful of your word, your action, whatever you do, because if not, then you do not show a good example to others. I will share with you the difference in the time of the Prophet, not in our time. In the time of our Prophet, may Allah's blessing and mercy be upon him. A group of Arabs, Bedouin, that means the desert Arabs, came to the Prophet and they said to the Prophet, Amanna, we are believers. Now being a Prophet as a man, a messenger of Allah, of course he cannot read the heart of the people. He only will say, believe what you say to him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Prophet Muhammad an ayah in Surah Al-Hujurat. This ayah is a very important ayah for all Muslims to understand. Now, Allah start by saying, Qalatil A'rab amanna Qul lam tu'minu Walakin qulu aslamna now, a group of Bedouin Arabs came to the Prophet and said to the Prophet, O Muhammad, we are believers. They are not talking about Islam yet. They talk about, they are believers now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed these verses to the Prophet and remind the Prophet to inform them saying that, Qul lam tu'minu. Say to them, O Prophet Muhammad, they are not a believer yet. Walakin, aslamna. It is sufficient in the beginning for them to say that we are Muslim. So there's a difference between Muslim and Mu'min now. The minimum Muslim must have is that they must have peace within themselves and have peace with others. They must be very careful with their word and action. Now, what Allah is trying to explain to us, there's a lot of difference between Islam, Muslim, and Iman. Islam is the religion. Muslim is the follower. Mu'min, Iman means the person who really have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us again, Ya ayuhallazina amanu taqullah haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun meaning all oh, you who believe in Allah be faithful to him and you must be a true obedient followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and a true believer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with word and action and your heart and make sure that you will never die until you become a Muslim. Meaning, until you completely submit to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, whatever Allah wants you to do, you should do. What Allah has decided for you, you should accept it. Because Allah is all-knowing and all-seeing. Whatever He wants us to do is the best for us. So, a Muslim is a person who really completely submit to Allah's will. Now, he is not going to put forward his opinion how he feel when he talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we talk about deen, he talk about the way of life. Now it's important for all Muslims to understand that whatever Allah wants you to do from the beginning to the end is for your own good. The most important thing if you want to be a good Muslim, you just become a true believer and submit to his command and follow the do and the don't. When you do that, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will group you under the group of Sami'na wa Atana. 
the people who listen and obey. It's as simple as that. Today, we have a lot of people listen to what Allah said. But in the same time, they do not believe or they don't follow what they learn, what they hear. Now, after become a good Muslim, I believe, inshallah, every one of us want to be a good Muslim. Because that's what Allah wants from us. He do not just want us to be a Muslim. A lot of Muslims now are not practicing Islam because they thought that as being a Muslim is sufficient, is good enough. I have a Muslim name. I have Muslim family. But that's not good enough. Now, after you become a Muslim, then you can consider yourself as a believer. Because before you want to move to Iman, you must submit to Allah first. I give you an example. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam remind us about the basic requirement from a mu'min. One of the saying the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said, Al mu'min man amman nas ala amwalihim wa anfusihim. A true believer is a person who is trustworthy that people's money and people's life and honor or dignity can entrust to him. You, mean, you can be trusted with money, with people, with everything. Like the Prophet said, La iman liman la amanata lahu, meaning there is no iman or no one have a perfect iman until he can be trustworthy. Now, coming back again, when we talk about Iman, then we go back to, to Islam again. The Prophet ﷺ remind us, Kullu Muslim ala Muslim haramun damuhu wa maluhu wa irduh. The Prophet is trying to explain further so that we understand, so that we do not interpret Islam according to our thinking, but in the way that the Prophet have taught us. The Prophet said again, Every Muslim toward another Muslim is sacred. Haram here means sacred. Like Haramain in Makkah and Medina. What is sacred? Number one is their blood. No Muslim is allowed to injure another Muslim. Whether minor or major. Because their blood is holy and sacred. We got to honor them. Number two is their property, their wealth. No Muslim can cheat another Muslim, can take the property of another Muslim without his or her permission. To the extent even the husband have no right to take any money from their wife without the wife's permission. Because there is the right that Allah has given to all Muslim. And number three is his dignity. Every Muslim how poor he is, how ignorant he is, but he has the right to be honored. We have no right to dishonor him because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid us and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbid us to do so. Because all Muslims must honor another fellow Muslim, their dignity, their honor, and also their property, and also their, blood, their life. Now, if everybody will understand the spirit of Islam, then we believe that we are the peacemaker. Because Islam means peace, so we can be the peacemaker. By right, the Muslims are peacemakers wherever they go. They have peace within themselves because they have peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they have peace within the family. And they have peace within their neighbors. And they have peace with fellow countrymen and also to other people. They also have peace with the environment. This is how Islam wants us to do. Not just by having a name, because my father, my mother is Muslim, but we must prove to the people that Islam is more than that. Now, when you come to the end after you become a total a Muslim, like what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will invite us to be a mu'min. To be a mu'min means وَلَمَّ يَدْخُلُ iman fi kulubikum wa in اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ لَا يَلِدْكُمْ مِنْ أَعْمَالِكُمْ شَيْئًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said after you submit to Allah be a good Muslim that means you are always 
but to listen and obey, then only the iman will penetrate through your heart. Iman is not lip service, it's not name, it's not how you look, how you dress. Iman is more than that, it's something that developed from within yourself, from your heart. When the iman penetrates through and stay in your heart, then you become a totally different person now. You become completely a different person. What do we mean by different person? Because you have a personality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with it and the Prophet is happy with that. What kind of personality that you develop with you? The Prophet said, Man ahabba lillah wa abghada lillah wa a'ta lillah wa man'a lillah faqad istakmal al-iman When you have a pure sound iman, a perfect iman, then you will love what Allah loves and the Prophet loves. You hate what Allah hates. Anything that is bad, that Allah dislike, you dislike. Anything that Allah like, you like. And you give what Allah want you to give. Meaning, you always like to engage in yourself in a lot of activities that will bring good to yourself and good to others. That benefit you and others. And you will withhold. Meaning, you are not going to be part of any kind of activity that cause problem, anger, hatred, enemy among fellow mankind. So the four character that you will develop after the iman penetrate to your heart is ahabba lillah, abghada lillah, a'ta lillah, wa mana alillah, faqadis taqmal al-iman. That's how the Prophet complete. Yeah, this issue about Iman, that whoever love what Allah loves, hate what Allah hates, give in the way that Allah wants you to give for the benefit of you and fellow mankind, and you withhold that means you are not supposed to get involved in any activities that cause destruction, that do not bring benefit to you, to the people, and to the country. And then the Prophet end up with فَقَدِسْ تَقْمَلَ iman. Then only you can claim that you have a sound iman. You have a perfect iman. Fellow brother and sister in Islam, the beauty of this teaching of Islam is that when you really understand the spirit of Islam, you will find peace within yourself. You find peace with others. And anyone who come to you, get close to you, also will feel the, get the, Peace feeling, because you are a person who always bring peace to other, and whatever you do always benefit other. Like what the Prophet said, after Muslim you become mu'min, al mu'min manfaatun, meaning a believer is always beneficial to others. And then the Prophet said again, wala takulu kalla nas. A mu'min and a Muslim will not become a burden to other people. They are not here to burden other people, but they are here to benefit others. So we got to ask ourselves, are we beneficial to others today? Do we cause a lot of problem to ourselves? We destroy ourselves, to our family, to our community? We got to ask ourselves, because without this muhasaba, self-correction, looking into the mirror and looking to ourselves, I don't think we can develop ourselves, we can change. You must remember, brothers and sisters, that Islam always depends on what you want. Because Allah said, I show you two ways. So we cannot blame Allah if anything goes wrong in the future. Because Allah has guided us, He shows us two ways. And then Allah said, sirati mustaqim fattabi'u. I show you two ways, then I inform you about my way, the right way. So you should follow the way that I want you to follow. And after following Allah's way, Allah said, After following my way, don't mix up with other ways. This is the problem that a lot of Muslims involved today. They said they follow the way of Allah. 
they follow Al Quran, they follow the Prophet, but in the same time they are following other ways. They mix up with other ways. They mix up with their culture, their tradition that sometimes contradict with Islam. So they mess up everything. Until today, a lot of Muslims do not know the difference between Islam and culture. Between Muslim and Islam sometimes. Sometimes tradition becomes Islam. Islam becomes tradition because they mix up everything. And Allah dislike that because Allah has said, وَأَنَّ هَذَا سِرَاتِي مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا سُبُلًا This is my way, the only way. You follow this way, and after following my way, do not follow other ways. Then Allah do not compromise His way and the way of His creation. This is very important, fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. So we must make sure that we understand Islam the way Allah wants us to understand. And the way that Islam has been conveyed to us through His Messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, who is the best model and example for those who want success in this world and success in hereafter. This is what we always hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fellow brother and sister. Every day when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do we ask Allah? The minimum that we should ask is, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina azabna. We call upon Allah, we invoke Allah, say, Oh Allah, give us success, happiness, peace in this world. And the same that we hope that Allah will give us success, peace, happiness, tranquility in the hereafter. That means may Allah enter all of us to Jannah. And waqina azabanna. And Allah save us from the torment of hellfire. Now we do not want to end our life by going to the direction that we are going to suffer forever. There is Jahannam. What we want is inshallah, we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us among the people of Salihin. Siddiqin, the righteous people, the people who are right to themselves, they are honest to themselves, they are right to others and they are honest to others. By having this kind of quality, Hello, brother and sister in Islam, I believe all of us will become the best ummah. Like what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have reminded us, Kuntum khaira ummah. We, the follower of Prophet Muhammad, is not just a normal ummah, but Allah said, you are the best ummah. That's what Allah said, not I. And I believe that all of us want to be the best ummah. So how do you become a best ummah? Try your level best to be a good Muslim. Fattakallah masataktum. Maybe there are people who say, Ya Shaykh, your brother Husayn, it's not easy to become Muslim. No, it's very easy. Like what I said earlier, Listen and obey. That's all. When you have that with you, you are safe, alhamdulillah. And then to be a mu'min, you just don't got to follow what Allah has planned for you. Because He is the best planner and He oversees everything. He knows our future. So whatever you do, what Allah wants you to do, at the end of the day, you will never regret, inshallah. Because Allah will never fail us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised those who believe in Him, those who follow His way, that He will be saved in this world and also saved in the hereafter. Now when Allah guarantees you success, He is not guaranteed a success only in this world. Now human can give you some success in this world. Human can guarantee you something here, but they cannot guarantee you about your life hereafter. But when Allah guarantees us something, He guarantees us dunya hasana wal akhirah hasana wa qina azabanna. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meet us again insha'Allah and may Allah enlighten us and make us a good Muslim, a mu'min, and muqsinin. Wa billahi tawfiqi wal akhir da'wana. An alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.
a complete way Do you know what Islam says? It says that life's the greatest test It says that life's a borrowed space Returned upon rest A way of life, a way of life A way of life, a way of life Islam is a way